I did six years at home without admission. I cannot go to school anymore. So you see, after the six years of deviance, I got three good admissions. So many people compare themselves with what they see in social media. Don't even know that in real life, you are much better than them. Hello everyone, how are you today? Today, I am going to talk about self-love. When I say self-love, what do you understand by that? Self-love is showing more love to yourself. Listen, if you don't know how to value yourself, no one will value you. If you don't learn how to appreciate yourself, no one will do that. Yes, you had me right. It's high time you develop the mind of trying to impress yourself. Everyone is struggling. Many people are going through a lot. Look at the, the family issue. One thing I will tell you is don't live your life trying to impress everyone. Do what makes you happy. Do whatever makes you happy. Yes. And also, loving yourself doesn't mean you should hate everyone around you. You need to balance them. One thing I understand is the world we are living in now is really, really, really difficult. You see yourself not succeeding in life doesn't mean you are left behind. No, you are not left behind. Just that it's not yet your time. When it is your time, you will definitely get to your destination. Yes. Listen, there are some people that got married at very early age. There are some people that got married at very, very late age. So tell me, you are not old and you feel everything is over? No. All you need to do is be patient. Pray about it. Talk to God. He made you. He knows you. He loves you. You need to talk to God. Tell him all your problems. Talk to him like father and his son. One example I will tell you is about my life. Before I came to the Philippines, I finished my secondary school, 2013. So I kept on writing exam. It's called jam. So I kept on writing, writing, writing. To cut the whole story short, I did six years at home without admission. I never gave up. I kept on pushing. I kept on praying. Yes, some of my age mate, some of my friends already in school. But I'm still there. In fact, I, I gave up. I felt like I'm not going to make it. Like, I'm not going. I, I cannot go to school anymore because of the pressure. I started learning fashion designing. But as God will do it, on the sixth year, I wrote Jam. Joint admission matriculation. But as God will do it, I got three admissions. I have an uncle, also call him my dad. He was schooling in the Philippines. I chatted with him and I explained to him. I told him that I'm tired. I kept on writing exam over and over. Sometimes I even get the cutoff mark, but I will not get admission. So he asked me to send my credentials. He will help me and search for admission here if I can get. Meanwhile, I kept on writing my exam. When the result came out, I got admission in Kaduna State University. I also got in Nasarawa State University. And then I got in the Philippines. So you see, after the six years of deviance, I got three good admission. So the choice is mine. I decided to choose the Philippines. To tell you the truth, it's not easy. It's not easy. To wait so long for what you have been praying for. 
most especially when you look at your peer group you look at your friends your age mates you just feel like there's nothing good about you or you're not gonna make it you will make it just period of time can i ask you something what makes you depressed do you get depressed because you look at other people's story? Don't do that. You're hurting yourself. Yes, you had me right. You are hurting yourself. Do not condemn yourself. Say no to depression. Say no to that. Actually, so many people compare themselves with what they see in social media. It's very wrong. So many people, so many posts you saw in the social media, they are not real. They just hide, they hide their tears and then show you their happiness. And even some of the happiness, they are not real. They just post it. And then you, you don't even know that in real life, you are much better than them. And then you start comparing, you start, you start complaining, you, you start saying that what, what is wrong with you, what will you, no, don't do that to yourself, don't do that. It's high time you value yourself. It's high time you appreciate yourself. Take a mirror, sit down, look at yourself, look at your image in the mirror and tell yourself, I love you. Tell yourself you are the best. Tell yourself the best is yet to come. And don't you ever, I mean, don't you ever look down on yourself. Most especially because of what you see in social media. Social media. Friends, wake up. And also, there's something I want to tell you. Do you, like, like seriously, do you actually wish or pray to be like someone else? If you have ever or you are praying to be like someone else, please stop it. Yes, you have to stop it. <laughs> see the moment you start praying about someone else without knowing what they are actually going through without knowing who really they are my dear you are causing trouble to yourself you are causing problems to yourself okay what if the person you are praying to be like cries every night the person you are praying to be like is really going through difficult things that he or she has never told you or post it for you to see. So because you see them flashy, you see them classy, you see them looking happy, you see them, you see them posting about their lifestyle and then automatically you start praying you want to be like this person. Please don't do that. If in any way you have prayed to be like someone else, ask God to cancel that prayer.